a reading from the book of Genesis. God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, and fill the earth. Be the terror of all the dread of all the wild beasts and all the birds of heaven, of everything that crawls on the ground and all the fish of the sea. They are handed over to you. Every living and crawling thing shall provide food for you, no less than a foliage of plants. I give you everything, with this exception. You must not eat flesh with life, that is to say, blood in it. I will demand an account of your life blood. I will demand an account from every beast and from every man. I will demand an account of every man's life from his fellow man. He who sheds man's blood shall have his blood shed by man. For in the image of God, man was made. As for you, be fruitful, multiply, team over the earth, and be lord of it. God spoke to Noah and his sons, See, I establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you. Also with every living creature to be found with you, birds, cattle, and every wild beast with you. Everything that came out of the ark, everything that lives on the earth. I establish my covenant with you. No thing of flesh shall be swept away again by the waters of the flood. There shall, there shall be no flood to destroy the earth again. God said, Here is the sign of the covenant I have made between myself and you and every living, living creature with you for all generations. I set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. The word of the Lord. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth's kings your glory, when the Lord shall build up Zion again, and appear in all his glory, then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless, he will not despise their prayers. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. Let this be written from ages to come that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth, that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. The sons of your servants shall dwell untroubled, and they race shall endure before you, that the name of the Lord may be proclaimed in Zion and his praise in the heart of Jerusalem, when peoples and kingdoms are gathered together to pay their homage to the Lord. Alleluia. By his own choice, the Father made us his children, by the message of the truth, so that we should be a sort of first fruits of all that he created.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his 